nothing. Okay, full screen technology. So here we go. Is the quality kind of bad or is that just me? Uh, it appears on my end that everything should be fine. It says the stream quality is good. Uh, I don't, let's see. Suddenly got better for you. Let me just check. Looked a bit whack for a while. Video. Yeah, it should be in 720, which is like not the highest res, but like it should be high enough that you can see. It looks okay now. It's just a little thing. Okay. So we unbox this guy. I guess what we really, we would want the camera facing like a table for an unboxing, but whatever. I'm just going to show you each component. So when you unbox it, you can see all the stuff in here. Um, now, the coolest thing about this is this here. This is the travel version of the game, uh, which is its own little tuck box. And this actually is the complete game. So all you need to play is this. You can just bring this, throw this in your pocket, and you can play Infinite Dragon Bridge. It has the bridge hacking expansion. It has all of the cards. It has everything you need to play. And so that was, because this was actually, originally, this was going to be the whole game. I was just making this. And then, like, I had an idea for, like, doing, like, oh, there maybe should be some, like, you know, uh, deluxe edition or whatever. But this um, was the base game. This was the whole thing. In fact, there was going to be two of these. There was going to be this one plus another one. Or, no, no, no. There was going to be this one uh, that would fit this and the expansion. So we actually got that. This and the expansion. The base game and the expansion fit in here, which is cool. So that's this. Um, and we can look at the cards in a second. They're the most important part, of course. Um... These are deluxe, uh, you know, gems uh, that have the backside and everything. And they're, they're a little smaller than I imagined them, but they're kind of cute. They're like those like slightly small cards. I don't know if you can tell by my hand as a reference, but they're like a little bit smaller than you expect. So like the text on them, if I had known that, the text on them might be a little bit bigger, but uh, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly readable. Um, but yeah, these are cool. They're very high quality little cardboard guys. I like them. Um, so there's that. Um, this, I was also surprised by how nice it is. Uh, this is the, the nest. And this is the reason the box is so big, is the nest. So you can unfold that like that. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's, it's like pretty nice quality. Like it's, it feels way more like legit and it folds out nice and flat. A lot of times these kinds of boards like don't fold flat. Um, and that bugs me, but this folds really nice and flat. So this is really good and helpful, and it reminds you of a couple of dynamics uh, of the game. So this is like one of the deluxe features, which is kind of cool. Um, it else, also, no more birds. You're in print. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But uh, that's a cool thing. This is the, the bridge tiles, which are, you know, cardboard also. And they're just double-sided. It's the same on both sides, so you can't really mess it up. Um... But yeah, basically, uh, you set up the bridge using these. And uh, these got the numbers on them? Yeah, they do. Cool. Uh, what else we got? We got the manual, of course. Boop -de -boop. Um, it's got diagrams, full color. It's like nice and glossy and everything. It's got these little illustrations, little robot boy in the corner, corner there. Look at that robot boy. He's great. Uh, yeah, the manual's nice. It's got the names of all the Kickstarters on the back. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got all of it. It's got the FAQs that we all worked on together. They're all in here. Um, so that's good. Here's the part where no more birds should pay most attention. This is the lore book. And this is something that a lot of board games don't have. Um, some might call it a rule book where we played too many video games for this. Yeah, what did I, I called it a manual. Huh, interesting. I never thought about that. The fact that some... So you... you um, hey, Bricks Parts, how's it going? Um, yeah, I, I should think about that more. The difference between a rule book and a manual and what the difference is there. So this is the lore book. It tells you a little bit about the Gem Wizards universe. And uh, it also has comics. So it's got two comics by me. This one... This Robot Boy comic with Robot Boy and Mae Daenerys. And then it has one comic by... Wait, get down here. Peter Szynski, a.k.a. No More Birds, about the origin of Derby Pocket. Look at this. All these pages. You're in print. Bam! 
And then on the back, there's a little thing like a, just like about me and about what I do and stuff. So yeah, this is the lore book. Pretty cool, huh? That's not something I've seen in a board game before. And then finally, there's even more. There's just so much stuff in this box. How much crap is in this box? We have a quick start guide. It's just one piece of paper and uh, just tells you like, it's just for your first game, this is what you do. Um, yeah. That's it. And then, yeah, on the, on the box itself, it has some cool stuff like uh, on the sides of the box, it's got these little characters. You got Omar over there, you got a fireball, you got Mae Daenerys, and you got this bunny wizard with a special thanks to my like super backers, the top tier backers who had the thing. And uh, yeah, that's, that's Dragon Bridge. And the, it is now unboxed. Pretty awesome, right? I'm so pumped. It came out like all the components are as good as components I've seen in any board game. Like if I, you know, I think the best components I know of uh, are, are things from like Fantasy Flight, you know, like um, things like, uh, I don't know, uh, Netrunner or something like that. And this feels just as good in terms of like the, the production quality and stuff. And the only downside at all, oh, we haven't looked at the cards yet. That's a minor thing. Um, the only downside, and actually it's really mainly only with the cards, so here's the cards. They all, again, all fit into this one little tiny box. Um, but the only downside at all that I can think of, really, is that um, the cards are a little on the dark side. And uh, I don't know if that's something they can tweak. Not, not dark, even, as just a little bit desaturated. I don't know if that'll come through here, but... Um, so here's, like, a magic dark card. Now, the orange looks really good. Now at the bottom, that's like right, but the blue is a little dull, just just a little bit. You can also tell here maybe with this Omar Evans card. Um, but the colors are just a little bit like slightly desaturated. Like if I could just like, eh, like plus three desaturation or something in Photoshop, I would do it. Um, but that's a minor gripe, really. I think they look great. Keeping up. So yeah, you got your bridge hacks, you got your white gems. It's all here, folks. You got a cursed loom. Look how cursed it looks. The best thing about the cursed loom is that it's just... Oh, you know what I never thought about before? Is that the accursed loom is working on a red garment. And you know who wears red, right? The business demons so maybe the accursed loom is the reason why the business demons uh did what they did you don't know you don't know illicit card deals yeah lore and then the backs here which i always thought was funny that they look like an old like shitty crt monitor that was the idea for this guy these backs um yeah and all my stupid names for the hacks like are in an actual printed board game now like mondo punch and illicit card deals and muscle pills look how many games can you play that have muscle pills in it in in the game or syntho forge see a lot of people use like syntho syntho forge here we go Boom, Sinto Forge. Um, yeah, some people might have said Synthetic Forge or something. Got the new bait art on there. Boom, the dragon food. So yeah, I'm feeling really happy about this. this these came out just like, this is amazing. I'm so pumped. We're gonna play some Dragon Bridge tonight. Oh, you never saw the bait art card? Yeah, here it is again, if you want to see. Yeah, this was this was right at the end when we were doing like the last, um, you know, bunch of uh, play testing. There we go. The last bunch of uh, play testing. Yeah, the meat on the arrow had some issues as a card, as an illustration. It was the shittiest illustration in the whole game. And also it just, it just like compositionally was weird because it was all off to the side. Um, yeah, Normal Birds was definitely asking for that to be changed. I think that the dragon food is a little bit better. Um, 
yeah, this is looking good. I think the, the this like see the colors on most of the components are actually like dead on. This is exactly right. Um, this looks exactly what we want. Um, on the top, you got the little teeth for gun shapes. Boom, right there. Uh, yeah, back has got the same stuff as more or less as the back of the actual game, and it's it's really just the cards. I, I maybe I'll ask and see if like I'll just be like, hey, can you guys just like up like the saturation but that might be dangerous because they might not put too much so maybe i should just leave it i don't know um and i don't want to have to go back in and actually tweak them all myself that's because it, we've already gone through so much shit to get everything right um yeah if it was a quick change it might be something i don't even know it might even be too late they might already have like everything uh all set so anyway yeah dragon bridge and you can uh, you can get a copy of this. This is the only edition of Dragon Bridge that exists. Is this deluxe edition, which uh, it's not very big. You can see how big it is overall. It's it's um, five point five inches this way and nine inches I think this way, and um, you know it's smaller than like Race for the Galaxy. I actually don't have another board game that's this size. I don't think. Um, in fact, I may ne never have seen a board game that's in this exact size. I know they exist because it was one of the templates that they have on their on uh, my printer's site and also on uh, what's that other one game game crafter or whatever. Yeah, both of them have this as a template size, so it must be real. But I've never seen one before. Tiny Epic King Kingdoms is maybe that size. Okay. Well, anyway, so if you get the game, this is the only edition of the game that exists. Uh, and you can get it on the Kickstarter website. If you just go Kickstarter, Dragon Bridge, blah, 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 then you can get a copy. Um, finally, oh, and we're gonna be like locking in all the orders and stuff like that soon. So uh, 